Hi guys, and welcome to what would have been Baby Boy's birth vlog, but it's actually going to be Baby Boy's introduction to the world, because his birth was very, 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 very unexpected, traumatic, fast, and he's here. He's not physically here with me right now, unfortunately. He's in the NICU, and Chris is up there visiting with him. I should be able to see him hopefully in the next couple of hours. Once I'm off all the medicines that I'm off or that I'm on right now because of blood pressure issues during a routine doctor's visit that sent me to the hospital for monitoring that uh, eventually caused me to be induced. The induction was going along and complications happened that I will talk about in a little bit. Not right this second, but um, or maybe, yeah, at some point I will talk about it. I don't feel like talking about it right this second. But it was a very, very, very traumatic birthing experience where um, baby boy's life was in danger for a little bit. But he's perfect and doing well upstairs. I just really, really, really want to hold him and nurse him and just look at him. Like, see him myself versus through pictures and through video chat. But we're both doing really good. Um... I did have a c-section, an emergency c-section, which was very, very scary. It was so scary. It literally felt like I was in a movie being, like, wheeled really fast to the emergency room with a bunch of doctors and nurses around me, just confidently chaotic. That's what I want to say, because it was very much chaotic, and there was a lot going on, but everybody was very confident in what they were doing, so it was scary, and I... Oh, I'm just now, I don't know, it's been probably about 12 hours, I'm just now, like, coming to terms with everything that happened, it's just crazy, it's just been a crazy night, I cannot wait to show you guys what our baby boy looks like, I can't wait to introduce him to you, I can't wait to introduce him to Cora, I miss Cora so bad, we did not anticipate us dropping her off with my mom and coming home with a baby, like, I miss her. I didn't get any kind of moments, like, to say goodbye to her as an only child, like, because we didn't know, like, we didn't know that this was going to happen, so, oh, I just miss her, and I can't wait to see her. So, we, we, get out of my food. That's my food. Don't worry, I share. <laughs> um, we're finally, literally, minutes away from being out of this, this is still considered, I think, a labor and delivery room because I was on a magnesium drip for my blood pressure, but I'm finally off of those meds and they're going to be transporting me upstairs, which is the postpartum room, and then from there, I'll finally, I will finally get to see the baby. He's already seen him I'm, I'm, I'm a bunch so of times. For her to see the baby. And we both, neither of us has held him yet, so we're going to both be able to hold him and I'm going to eat my lunch. Well, we're going to share our lunch and then head upstairs. And then the next time that you see us, and sorry I'm shaking, I'm on my phone. But, whoa. I think you're also excited too. Mm -hmm. I guess that's what it is. Ah, so the next time that you see us, we're going to be introducing you to a baby. And I'm excited. Here we are. We got a little baby here. And I finally got to hold and see him. There he is. So perfect. So perfect. With that perfect little face. That perfect little face. You're so handsome. My handsome boy. Did my handsome boy. I'm so in love. So just a little update since it's been I think I don't know, I think it was yesterday. Um I am struggling with having baby in the NICU. It's just, it's really hard. He's doing really well. He's pretty much off of everything except for the IV, um, like hydration therapy. Basically, they're waiting for him to be able to eat a certain amount without, like, spitting it back up and falling asleep before he'd be able to be discharged. So I have been hooked to a pump and trying my hardest to make sure that he's getting more of my milk than the supplementation that he's getting. Uh, 
And it's really hard because obviously I'm postpartum. I'm hormonal. I miss my baby. I miss my Cora. And I don't like being stuck to a pump. I'd rather have him on my boob. And I can't do that right now because they need to see, like, physically how much he's eating. Sorry. Oh, I'm shaking so badly. It's because of having to hold up the phone. Anyways. Um. But they did let me try to breastfeed finally today. And he latched on for about five minutes, but then he fell asleep. And I didn't want him to get too tired to not drink the bottle that they want him to drink in order to see how many mls he's drinking or whatever so but he's still not drinking like all that they want so they have to replenish the rest of what he's not eating in his iv and the iv that he did have wasn't working anymore when they tried to flush stuff through it so they had to poke him again and it's just really hard to see your little tiny 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 baby get poked and prodded and crying and all he wants to do is like be held by you and you can only hold him you know with wires and stuff it's just hard to have a nikki baby i'm sure anybody that has had one knows exactly what i'm talking about but i'm just uh, working through the motions chris is up there with him right now his next um eating time is in 15 minutes so I'm just pumping as much as I can so I can give him as much of my breast milk versus the formula so that's what's going on guys quickly popping back on to say that um, because of COVID and everything that's going on we're only allowed to have one parent in the NICU bedside at a time so if I'm up there Chris can't be if Chris is up there I can't be so we take turns um we pretty much just go back and forth he goes up and then i'll come or he goes downstairs and then when he comes back up and then i'll go and i usually get the feed times because i have the breast milk um so that's that's our reality right now and it's just uh, this is just a completely different experience than with cora like not having the baby in the room. It's really hard. It's really hard. Hi, baby boy. Hi, handsome baby boy. Handsome baby boy. Can you give any smiles? Huh? He's so handsome. All that hair, so much hair, so much hair on the little baby, so much, you're so cute. You guys, he's breastfeeding so well, keep going bye bus, good job, took a while, but we got it, a good latch, huh bye bus. Mm -hmm. Good morning. I am having a rough morning because I just got news that I'm going to be discharged today, but I don't think the baby's going to be discharged today. I haven't talked to the pediatrician downstairs yet. Chris is down there right now, but I have a feeling he's probably still going to need to be here for a couple more days and it's, it's killing me. It hurts my heart so bad. Knowing that I'm going to have to leave without the baby. It's really hard. And I just want to get home and like establish a routine. And I want to try to get him on my, my boob more. I've got, I've got to nurse him a couple times. And it's not going great because he's already used to like the hard nipples. But I've been giving him as much of my breast milk as I can. And I just have to keep pumping and... I'm excited to see Cora. Like, that's the one plus side about getting discharged. I just want to have to explain to her, like, why the baby's not there. And, oh, it just sucks. Like, I literally, it just sucks. And I never thought, like, I don't know. You just don't, you don't think that when you're going to have a baby that you're going to leave the hospital without them. And you don't, like, realize, like, how 
hard it's going to hit you until it hits you, I guess. I don't know. It's just really hard. And I, for anybody that's had NICU babies for longer than anything else, I couldn't imagine. Because hopefully it'll only just be a couple days for him, but who knows. Wide awake right now, baby? You're just a wide awake, handsome little man? Just wide awake, huh? You got your little toes in your hands. Gotta show your sister, huh? You got your nose in your mouth. Yeah, just wide awake, huh? He just wide awake. Handsome boy. You're just a handsome boy. Oh, that a baby sad, huh? <laughs> All right, and I will have you look up. There we go. So that clip that you just saw was, uh, hold on, was actually the very first time that me and Chris got to see the baby together. And actually, technically, that is not allowed. And our nurse that's taking care of Dean right now, um, she, Chris came to see him for a little bit after I fed him, and as I was leaving, she was like, oh, hey, wait, 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 come here, I'm not supposed to do this, but let me get a family photo for you guys, and she let us get a couple pictures with him, and we got to see him together, like, that was the first time me and Chris actually got to, like, look at him for the first time together, um, I am all packed up, and ready to go. Chris is visiting with him one last time. I have some milk to give to him. Um, for his feeding that's coming up and then we're leaving and then I have to go just get stuff ready at the house and establish my pumping so that he can still get my milk when I come uh, visit him. I want to establish enough so that they can they only give him my breast milk versus having to give him any kind of formula So that's what I'm gonna be working on as soon as I get home um, And then I guess just coming back here as often as I can Obviously, it's not gonna be as often as I want to hey, baby You saying hi? How did it go? It went good. It's okay It was a little tough Oh, buddy. So you see, we are off Yes, I see. Baby Dean, look at you go. Keep going. Uh -huh. Yeah, you tell him. Oh, what a good lap. Oh my goodness, Dean. I'm so proud of you. This is like a really good one. You're eating so good. Even for mommy being away all night. He's doing a good job. Mm. Oh, my handsome boy. Hi, baby. We don't need that feeding tube. We're going to get rid of that, huh? Mm -hmm. oh, I love you. Oh, your milk run. Your milk drunk baby Off a mama booby Good job Good job You want more? Are you done? <laughs> you get all the milks on your lips Oh my goodness
So Cora and I are here just hanging out in the parking lot. He is visiting with baby Dean. Um, I went and visited. Yeah, it's firework day, huh? Is it 4th of July? Yeah, we're going to watch fireworks go off. It's going to be so fun. Yeah. Cora is being such a trooper and such a good girl because of the whole... Yeah, baby Dean's with the doctor, huh? Yeah, I don't want baby Dean. Yeah, you want baby Dean. Me too. But we have to... It's only one parent at a time in the NICU, so if I'm up there, Chris can't be up there, and if Chris is up there, I can't be up there. I think I said that right. Um, yeah, baby. Yep. And so today, I actually went out. I was there from like 11.30 to 3.30. I stayed for a decent amount of time because I wanted to feed him a couple times. And he did really good with the first feeding. The second feeding wasn't as good as the first one um, as far as breastfeeding and taking the bottle. They are requiring him to take... Yeah, baby, can you be quiet for just a second, please? Yeah. Thank you. Um, they're requiring him to have a total of 60 milliliters of uh, milk that he has to drink on his own before they will Mama release him. Yeah, drinking in mommy's boobs and all the milk. <laughs> he needs to be able to drink 60 milliliters on his own and it's, it's just, it's up and down with his progress. It's like sometimes some feeds he'll eat the whole thing and not have a problem and then sometimes he's not. Right now he's up to 55 milliliters that he needs to eat because it's been gradually getting up and up and up and up and up and he's just sometimes he meets the requirement and sometimes he doesn't and I just know that in order for him to come home he has to ha drink 60 milliliters so that is the goal and it's been it has been very hard to leave him there and not be able to literally be with him every single second of the day I'm just it's been hard but uh, we're managing and today was a lot easier than yesterday it's 4th of July and he was born on Monday so it's it's just I feel sad that I'm not spending as much time with him as I would be obviously if he was home with us but I know that he's where he needs to be and he'll be home before we know it it's just it's different and it's hard it's hard but we're managing huh Cora are we managing This, this little girl has made it a whole whirlwind easier. She makes me laugh. She makes me smile. She's keeping me happy, huh? Yeah, baby Dean's going to sit right there. Is that baby Dean's spot? Yeah. Yeah, he's going to sit right there. She's so excited for him to be home, too. Because I think I'm going to end, like, this whole vlog. Because it's been, like, a long birth vlog. It wasn't really a birth vlog because you didn't get to see him be born, but it's like his entry into the world week, I guess, is what this whole vlog is. But I think I'm probably going to end it after the fireworks tonight. Probably take a couple clips of Cora enjoying her fireworks and then end it there. And then after this vlog, I am going to go into a labor and delivery detail story video because my Oh, it was a whirlwind of a delivery, and my baby boy could have died. Thank God for the nurses and the staff that were on our case, because it was just all hands on deck. It was scary, so that's what's going to come after this. I'll be explaining a little bit more about how his actual labor and delivery went, so be on the lookout for that. There you go. That a girl. Come over here. Can you stand over here? Go by your daddy. Alright, there's good. We got Chris Bridison. Can you look at mama? Look at that. Say cheese. Yeah. Woo! Come on, look at mommy. Say cheese. Uh. <laughs> Did you see that one go up in the air? Oh. Is that so cool? That's so loud. 
It's too loud. What do you got on your ears? Is that to help your ears so it's not so loud? Yeah. You don't mind. Look at that. Well, it's like a daddy.